from here. Thank you. <laughs> My heart is warm and I'm feeling all lovey and squishy inside. Why? Why? Because, thank heavens, thank heavens above, the Midlands is producing great bands again. Like Pop Will Eat Itself. Like lots of other bands, like the Jerry Colvin Experience, a great band. You've seen them, haven't you, Matt? I have. They're brilliant. They're absolutely wonderful. Excellent. And Pop Will Eat Itself are in the charts. Are they really? They are in the charts, indeed. What number in the charts are they, Paul? Unfortunately, I have no idea because I didn't hear the chart tonight, but I know last week it was 32. 32 last week, and I assume they will have gone up this week. That's wonderful. It's from their forthcoming album, A Cure for Insanity. The Pop Will Eat Itself, Cure for Insanity, that's what it's called, isn't it, Paul? And it's out a week tomorrow. Just a quick reminder of the competition. The competition this week is, how many sides does a dodecahedron have? How many sides does a dodecahedron have? If you've had trouble getting through, now is your time to ring because nobody's calling at the moment. You could ring yourself a BBC Radio in the Midlands goodie bag. The number to call for that and for dedications and hellos is 021 if you're outside Birmingham, 432 2000. Amanda's got a bit of a hello, hasn't she? I do, actually. Clive came in with this one and um, apparently Robert Harrison in Derby would like me to say hello to him. Because he says that he thinks I'm adorable. Oh, we all think you're adorable. That's very right. sweet. Thank you very much, Robert, and hello to you. Oh, that's lovely. Relationships being built here live mm -hmm. on Samantha's Sunday Night Party. Now, I was just talking to you about Pop Police itself, who are in the charts. Another band from Birmingham who will be in the charts very shortly, mark my words, are Ocean Colour Scene. Here is their new single, I finally got it. I sweated blood, sweat and tears to get this. I had to fight and scream and shout. I almost had to buy it. This is Ocean Colour Scene, their brilliant new single, Sway. Ocean Colour Scene and Sway, which is in your shops now. They're also on tour supporting Jesus Jones. They're playing in Birmingham and in Wolverhampton, I think, or Nottingham. But check the press for details. That's the week after next. They're on tour at the moment. They also did a very good session on Radio 1 last week, which is very good. Stop looking at me like that. You just think I'm like being... What? <laughs> like that. What? Ian's okay. looking at me in a kind of cynical, raising his eyebrow kind of way. I'm going to throw something at you, Ian. Wouldn't I, you be what, sorry? Today, I don't know what's got into you, but I can't do right for doing wrong today. You're being you've, very you've pesky. Assaulted, eh? You've assaulted me and what have you? Mind you, you did buy me a McDonald's, so thank you. That's the kind of girl I am. You've been very pesky. You were horrid to me in your link at 7 o'clock. Listeners, if you don't listen to it, you should listen to Inwood at 7 o'clock when it comes out of the top 40 and into Pat Diwali. And sometimes Ian's it works as well. So sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Mm. That's even more funny. But um, Ian was very mean about me at 7 o'clock. You were horrid and I hate you for it. Mandy, tell me, what have you been to review? <laughs> <laughs> Mandy Richards. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> They're coming thick and fast this evening. Oh, well, I was quite put off my stride for a moment, though. Thick anyway. Sorry? Thick anyway. <coughs> I went to see. I just threw something at Ian. It was something big and heavy. There are missiles th being thrown across the studio. Right, um, this week <laughs> <coughs> I went to see a film and I went to see Ghost. Ghost! I went to see Ghost. This is the film that proves that Patrick's ways isn't just a dancing bicep and that Demi Moore is more. Oh, uh, Mrs. Bruce Willis, sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my goodness. It's a Samantha being green. <laughs> Recycling her jokes. Another one, another one. Um, yes, absolutely. I didn't see Patrick Swayze. In fact, I have never seen Patrick Swayze. I think Swayze it's horrible. My mother lusts after his bod. She says, oh, that Patrick Swayze me gives me itchy teeth. Mm, goodness, he didn't have that effect on me, I have No, to I say. think he's horrible. He's got little eyes. Um, I, I probably, um, he's not my type, no. but he was quite good, actually. He was quite good actor rise in this. Anyway, Ghost, it's Certificate 12, and it stars Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Demi, sorry. Demi Moore. Is that how Barry says it, isn't it? No, that's how it's pronounced, mm -hmm. and don't talk to me about Barry like that. Mm? It could be Demi, and why not? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, you're taking on thin ice here, mate. I like Barry Norman. He's very sweet. Well, don't not my type of a guy, my kind of guy, but hey... Everyone is attracted to whoever they like. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Are you saying that Barry's not the best looking man in the world? I'm I'm saying I'm saying that if he would I'm saying <laughs> I, 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 I just I'm saying that I would I would probably you're losing Mandy. I'm saying that There's I wouldn't no way fight over him. <laughs> Why? I would let you uh, because he's a little um a little bit old <laughs> my Oh, he's quite sweet, though, in a kind of... Don't patronise, Barry. 
Get on with your review, Mandy. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> anyway, he's. I think he's adorable, especially when he says "and why not." He never says it though. Rory <laughs> Brenner made that up. Barry doesn't say that. He told me because I asked him. Yes, along with what his favourite film was. <laughs> No, I quite understand. We all go to pieces when we meet somebody we admire and love. Dearly. Carry on, Mandy. Anyway, Patrick Swayze <laughs> and Demi Moore star in Ghost. And also starring with them is Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg! Whoopi Goldberg! And really, I'm in a little bit of a dilemma here because... I want to tell you about it, but if I tell you what happens, it'll spoil it. <laughs> so I just don't want to... So I can't start? tell you, I can't tell But the thing is, basically, there's a there's a ghost in it. But there is some... Do you want me to tell them what it's about? Don't, 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 because it'll spoil it. it it's was. a really good film. It's really, really good film. I absolutely, I really, really enjoy it. It's been it. the surprise box hof office hit in America, <clears> hasn't it? Yes. And Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore are this very happy couple who move in together. And um, Whoopi Goldberg plays a spiritualist mm. advisor. And uh, she's a hoot. She's really, really funny. Really, really, really funny. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> she's she's great. And um, there's a ghost in it. And, um, okay, basically, listeners, what happens is Patrick Swayze is on his way. It. Don't Man. Patrick Spines is on his way home from a date and he gets killed. <coughs> and he has to come back from the dead to warn his girlfriend to tell her that he still loves her yeah, his and ghost to protect her his because she might be next. His ghost isn't really ready to go off, is it? No. So I haven't um, seen the film, I've just read the publicity. Well, um, his, the ghost isn't ready to um, go off to heaven. And oh. it stays on the earth and um, protects Demi, his girlfriend. Anyway, um, it's excellent. I thought it was really, really good. I really enjoyed the, um, the acting. Mm. So Patrick was jolly good and quite believable because he was standing there, sitting there, looking at his body, pretty horrified at the uh, prospect of being dead. And I'm pretty uh, horrified every time I look at pa Patrick Swayze's bod. Oh no, he hasn't got that much. His body's okay. It's just his face. <laughs> and um, and uh, he, so that was quite believable. I thought he was quite good. And also, some it's very tear jerking. Well, I've very heard that he, it's the kind of film that I wouldn't go along to see if wild horses dragged me there um but everybody says it's great i, I don't it. think i'd like i also it. i thought the um the special effects were very good and the sound effects what was whoop like she was brilliant oh, i sure. loved her but i've never you see again i haven't seen her do anything else haven't you seen an apparently seen color purple no. no and apparently she's she's the same each time she's, yeah she does a part but it was brilliant it, it was well cast and i thought it was very good i thoroughly enjoyed it so you would recommend that people go and see I Ghost? I would definitely recommend it. Aww. It was good. I shed a tear. I shed a little one. Just well, it's supposed to be brilliant, so... Those people that haven't seen it should go along and see it. And those people that haven't seen Presumed Innocent yet, go and see Presumed Innocent. That's all I can that say. Good. Now, the next record... Have you finished? I have now finished, thank you, yes. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> Just keep quiet now for the next 40 minutes, Mandy, because <laughs> I still haven't forgiven you for what you said about my big bad baz. <laughs> Did you see Bob Holness in the News of the World today? I did, hear, yeah. Which he claims that he was not academically very bright. So, hard to believe. So what if he wasn't? He can still be a sex god and not very bright. Look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. Now, the next record, my friend Soph asked me to play. It's her mum's memorial service day and her mum's name was Zoe. And this is her favourite song. This is Burley Chassis and Diamonds Are Forever.